Hi there, John Malinowski here, and just doing another little test here. I've got this is the second test I've done, and what I've noticed in the past is I've been streaming on these live hangouts and through uh, YouTube Live as well, and I've noticed some differences in quality from different settings in the cameras. And what I'm using right now is the Logitech C920. Uh, the uh, this is a webcam, and it can be worked on a, a, a Mac or a PC. Excellent camera. It shoots really good quality. The thing I've noticed is the difference between the local recording, when you record locally with the camera, and then upload it versus a recording of a live stream. And because of the bandwidth I do have here, I've, I've got a pretty good connection, so I'm able to stream up and get a full 720p on the live stream. But I've noticed the difference when looking at like a three. 360p, which is kind of the default that most people go to on the stream, and I've compared that to other footage I've uploaded, and it's significantly different. So I was just curious if it was the settings, and, and the thing I had my camera set to, the Logitech C920, I had it set at 1080p on my local machine, and that was streaming up to uh, YouTube, and I'm now this setting, I've got it set with 720p, and I want to see if there's a difference between that and comparing the different uh, um, resolutions of so 360p to 480p to 720p and so on and what we get. Um, also I'm, I'm going to start testing out some of the DSLR uh, cameras as well and see what kind of quality difference there is. You know if you go and look around on the web and you look at like some of the videos created by YouTube themselves, you know some of the geek videos and that type of thing, the things that YouTube are putting out, you'll notice that if you look at those videos at 360p it's pretty sharp, pretty crisp. But I'm, I'm suspecting that those are actually created locally and then uploaded. You know, they might have shot them in 720p on their machine, compressed them, and then uploaded them. And I think there's a difference between that and the actual stream. When you're streaming, you may not get the highest quality. Of course, it be depends on your bandwidth. It depends on your camera settings. I've manually set some things here on this camera, so, you know, from time to time you'll see these these the clarity might be a little different just depending on how I have my exposure and the contrast and brightness and so on set and you'll want to play around with these things and I'll put those settings down here below of what my camera set to right now so in case you want to do some testing of your own you're, you're welcome to do that and uh, also you might be interested in registering for a free event that I have it's about all about video uh, how to shoot great broadcasts and do live streaming, how to create recorded events as well. I have a system that we've put together that allows you to create uh, on the fly webinars, as many webinars as you want, as large a number of attendees. It has a full chat mechanism so you can communicate back and forth. It doesn't require anyone to have a Facebook account or a Google or G Plus account. It's a totally standalone system. You can create recorded events and, and play them and broadcast them as evergreen. They can play 24-7. Uh, it creates a registration page. You can make it uh, where somebody doesn't have to register if they don't want to, if you don't want them to. If they do register, you actually capture their name and their email address. And also they have the ability to ask questions. So those questions are archived and, and you can research those questions and respond back to those people that have asked the questions. No matter when they ask them, the system stores that for you. So if you have this in a live event, it's good. You can do real-time interaction. If it's a recorded event, it will actually log those questions so you can go back in you know, once a day or however often you want and respond to those questions that come out. But you can create as many webinars as you want. And uh, I've got a series, though, that I'm putting together just to help you out with your business and getting started, you know, it's. Uh, I've noticed a lot of people get really overwhelmed when it gets comes to technology, and the reality is, when you just take it one step at a time, you can learn a lot, some really good stuff. And I've done a lot of testing. I've spent a lot of money and time and energy in testing different webcams from the low end all the way up to the high end of DSLR interfaces with PCs and specialty cards, uh, even the Teradek Cube. You know, some of these type of things that you can get into. They get into the thousands and thousands of dollars. And I'll show you from whatever budget you're at, where you're starting, what you can set up with. And also, I pay attention to the space you need as well, because some of us don't have a dedicated space. You, you know, I do have some space I can dedicate, but some of you might just be getting started and you have a small space you want to utilize, but you need to use it for other factors as well in your life. So you want to have something that's easy to set up, quick to go, and do your broadcast. Because when you're inspired to go live, it's a good time. It's, it's, that's the time to do it when you're excited about it. Um, I'll also cover, so I'll cover video, I'll cover lighting because lighting is critical and important. I'll also cover audio. We'll get into a segment, a whole segment about audio, different types of audio, different types of lavaliers and interfaces that you can have. 
Uh, maybe you use a, a desktop microphone, you know, some of these things like, like this. Uh, how do you interface X, D, um, XLR into your PC if you have one? Uh, do you use mixers? Do you use capture cards? What do you what do you use? You know, so you can get into all those components, and you'll be amazed at what you can get on a very economical solution, uh, all the way from the low end, and then of course going more professional as you get better and and want to go professional. The bottom line is, if you're going to be professional, look professional and make it all sound good, make it look good, you want lighting, so that's the next thing we get into is, you know, we go cameras, uh, lighting, audio, and then I'll get into also creating webinars and maybe even doing some pre-recorded stuff because sometimes it's just a better idea to pre-record it because as you know, with technology it's kind of iffy, you know, if you're on a schedule and things aren't working, like you get there and your PC doesn't boot up or, or you've got some bandwidth issues or there's a storm in your area or anything, it could be anything. You know, when you pre-record it, you can get it fine-tuned the way you want and have your presentation going. And if you have the right webinar system, uh, you can host that, and we have a system that does that for you. You can create the registration page. You can have an introduction video on your registration page, automatically allowing people to register. When they register, it will notify them. They can come into the event. You can make it on-demand or, or scheduled, however you want, and promote it out there like that. But this is a free series that we're, we're giving away. And uh, I've been ranting on here just because I want to get a good comparison of this video I just shot here. This is live streaming at 720p from my Logitech C920. This right here, you can pick these up pretty much anywhere, you know, Target, online, whatever. Uh, and they're not very expensive. I think they're less than $100 now. And, and uh, you can get a couple of them. And you can actually do multi-camera shoots where you can switch between different camera angles. Uh, just get real professional with uh, your broadcast as well. So anyways, thanks for tuning in and I'll be comparing these and I'll put the settings down below here and also put a link for the webinar to uh, register and, and, and go through that free, the free modules and this will be my little gift to you. Thanks for visiting and be sure to share it. You know, click the links above to share this. You know, there's some, uh, you can connect with me, uh, of course, uh, through the links. You can also uh, share this on your Facebook, Twitter, so on, invite people that you know, people that would benefit from this for their uh, learning about webcasts and so on. And I think every business should be doing this. I mean, the bottom line is, I just read the other day, 100 hours per minute is up to loaded to YouTube. 100 hours per minute. That's just crazy. Uh, more people watch video online now than watch it on TV or sitting on their couch. So this is the future, and you have an incredible opportunity right now to get a, a part of this, you know, as it, it's going to get more and more crowded out there. So you know, the earlier you get in and start to build your audience. And video is great because you personally get to connect with people. They see who you are and see, you know, how genuine you are. You get to share your ideas and your thoughts and connect with those people that are interested in what you have to share. And, you know, you're going to get some haters and those people that are just what, what we call trollers that go around and they'll thumbs down and, you know, whatever, say something rude to you. Just ignore them. The bottom line is you're reaching a bigger audience you're going to find the people that are genuinely interested in what you had to share. And that's the important part, is just connecting with them. The rest of the people, whatever, just ignore them. You know, they, nothing better to, in their life to do than to run around and, and spread their misery onto other people. So just ignore those people and move forward and share something valuable, and, and you'll do great. So just, uh, yeah, plug on in, and uh, I'll put the links down below. And thanks for coming in. I'm John Malinowski, and I look forward to meeting up with you sometime. Good broadcasting.